morning everyone today is sunday and uh, vlogmas day 10. i'm going to do a five and below and dollar tree haul let y'all know what i got yesterday i'm sitting in front of my window so this is natural sunlight i'm hoping that this will um you know be a little bit brighter and uh than before i'm using a tripod and the tripod I'm using actually is not for my phone, it's for an actual camera. So I've got it propped up, hopefully it'll hold until I'm done with this video. Okay, got my coffee, got my doggy, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I can't show you everything that I bought at Five and Below just because my girls watch this video, so I did take out the few things that I got them. But on Christmas Day, we are going to do a uh, what I got for Christmas video, so you'll be able to see all that. And I'm also going to, um, I wanted to show you what I put in their stockings beforehand, but I guess I can record me putting the stuff in their stockings and then just add that to the what we got for Christmas video. But anyway, so uh, like I said yesterday, I wasn't too impressed with the five and below. It just seemed like they had, they had a lot of stuff. And I'm actually going to link, or put the, not link, sorry, add the pictures that I took in the store to this video at the end so that you can see. Um, I had it in yesterday's video, but it was getting way too long, so I just took it out and decided I'd put it at the end of this one today. I'm going to try not to talk so much. This one's not so long. I'm just going to show you what I did get. Um, that was a couple cute things. The first thing is these gift card holders. I just thought those were really cute. I had bought them. Bought them. I just cannot talk. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what it is. My mind and my mouth just don't match. I don't know what it is. Okay, anyway, I had already bought some gift card holders um, but needed a couple more. And when I saw these, I thought they were really cute. They did have some other ones that look like the ugly sweaters, uh, but I just like little coffee mugs or hot chocolate mugs or whatever it is in here better. Another thing that I bought, and I actually saw this when I got ready to leave. I've always wanted one of these, and I think I've seen them in other stores that were maybe a little bit more expensive, but this is a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, and it is just so cute. Um, a guy I used to work with got one one time and put it on his desk, and I just, I loved it. I haven't taken this out of the box yet, which I guess I can do that now. Um, it does say it comes with a blanket and all the stuff to it. I don't know if the one that they sell is smaller than what he had or what they you know, sold. But and I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but I just thought it was so cute. I didn't see the price on it. I'd have to check my receipt, but I would think it was probably one of their $5 items. Um, it comes with the little wood pieces that you get. Let's see if I can. Okay. So you crisscross these. It's got the little little feet on them. And there's a little hole for you to put the um, to screw the tree in. Nothing, you know, major. That's why it's a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. All right. Stand this bad boy up. All right, whatever. Um, the little blanket. I think that the ball, Christmas ball, was inside of here. Open that up. Oh, it is. This is so cute. So there's your little Christmas ball. If I can put this on here where it actually stays. It doesn't fall off. Okay, there's the Christmas ball. And then here's a little blanket. You just wrap it around the tree. I love this little thing. And of course, I'm going to tweak the branches and everything later. But for the time being, okay. So anyway, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. And let's see, 
what else I got at Five and Below. I got mostly like Christmas bags and stuff. Like I said, I thought a lot of their actual products were pretty cheaply made. Okay, I don't remember where I was at. My husband just called me and it stopped my video. So anyway, um, I thought I was going to pick up a makeup case. That's what I was gonna say. It was a little plastic makeup case for $4. And when I picked up one of them and turned it over, the whole bottom was just completely cracked. I mean, it was just, you can tell someone probably just dropped it and that was the result. Okay, so the first bag that I got was this cute little, um, bag that's got the plaid, the green and black plaid with a little polar bear, and it's got a little snowflake up here for the name tag, and it's just the same all over, but I thought that was really cute. Some of the bags they have, they did have a lot of other cute bags, but I didn't get them because um, I just felt like for the price I could get a better deal at the Dollar Tree. And they weren't so super cute that I couldn't resist them. And I did take a uh, picture of some of those bags hanging up, so you'll see that at the end. But I got this bag. And it's a little different, but my daughter Madeline um, is into sea animals right now. And she let me know that she did not like the Barbie wrapping paper that I got for her for Christmas. So I thought, well... I saw this and said, well, maybe this will make her happy. She's got a little sea creature here. And then the size of that is just like little pink snowflakes with hearts um, or a Christmas sweater type look to it. This tag is a little donut. So, I mean, it was cute. This is actually a set of bags. Um, I'm going to open these up. They look kind of like paper bags that are just um, have color on them. Or, or a design or a print or something. They, act, they had the patterns or what each bag looked like on the front, but I hadn't actually looked, looked at them. Um, but you have to be careful with these, some of these bags sometimes. My, uh, I have gotten a brown paper bag um, as a gift with a gift in it for Christmas one year, and it just split all down the sides. I couldn't even get it home um, because it was just so cheap. But these actually made pretty good. This is a little gingerbread house, which is really cute. And the front of it, I don't know if you can tell, but it actually has like little glitter type snow on it. All the snow is glitter. The back side, of course, is just flat. Um, and then the sides, just continue to sing this little trees. The next bag is Christmas balls. And they're the same way. All the glitter is sparkly on this side. And the sides are just continuation of the scene. I think because of the way these, you can see how the handles are, because these are kind of like paper bags um, versus the other ones with the ribbons and all that. They're probably not going to have any of the seams on the inside or the sides of the bag. The next one is just little snowflakes with some um, candy cane stripes at the top, which you know are shimmery on this side. They're just flat. Uh, let's see, check the sides. Same thing. It's just a continuation. And then this one says, Fa la 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 Merry Bright Christmas. don't really have anything other than the Christmas sign you know it's a little shimmery but there's no litter or anything on this bag oh well the one I wasn't going to show is a little bit different than the front and this is like little peppermint swirls all of the glitter on this shimmers let's try to turn it to see if you can tell um, of course the back side's flat so I only have one bag that the sides were different. But all three of these, let's see if I can find my paper, how much, these were $3. So for $3, I got five bags. And they're really all very cute bags and they're made good. I don't think they're gonna split or tear. Um, that was actually a better deal than the Dollar Tree. And these are pretty good sized bags. And let's see, the last thing that I got, like I said, I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, 
Oh, come here, Shasta. Come here. I already put it on her. Sorry. <laughs> I got my little dog and doggy collar. Look over here. It's kind of big on her, I think, because it keeps twisting. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was cute. She don't really like clothes. But if I put something on her neck, it don't bother her too bad. She just doesn't want me putting bows on her ears or uh, little outfits on her, which is what my little girls used to do when we first got her. Because she started going in the corner and ripping them off. But anyway, they have a nice little section for animals. And I took a picture of that as well. Of course, I don't cap didn't capture everything. But they had pretty good things. They had another aisle aside from the picture that I took that had animal toys and things like that. So that would probably be a good place to go if you want to get your... Um, pet a Christmas gift. The last thing that I bought um, is this really big bag. I just want to drink hot chocolate, eat cookies, and shop all day. They had different um, bags. I just, this was the one I thought was the cutest. They sell these bags at Cracker Barrel, and I've seen them at TJ Maxx. In other places, this bag was only $2, and I think they're a lot more expensive than the other ones, and it's really big. It might be a little bit bigger than the ones the other ones so The sides are different, and they open up. It's pretty wide. The only thing that I don't like about this bag, this is a zipper. And I guess if you're going to put things in it and you want to close it up, it's good to have. But I use these bags. We When we go um, on Christmas Eve, we go to uh, one of my family members' house, whoever decides to host Christmas Eve. And so, because I've got kids, when we come back, we have tons of gifts to bring back home with us and to take with us when we go. And so I like to have a couple of these bags that I can put Christmas gifts in to tote to the um, house person's house and then back again with all of our open gifts that you know, everybody got. It just makes it a lot easier to get to and from the car. And so I felt like this was a nice, decent sized bag, but the top's just a little bit weird to me the way it is. I mean, you could unzip it, but it doesn't like tuck in very well. I mean, I can make it work, you know, and just leave it unzipped. So it's not a major issue for $2, but, um, I would have preferred the zipper not being there. Anyway, so those are the items that I bought at the five, and I keep saying five and below. I think it's just five below. I don't know. And I got me a fingernail file just because I needed one. So that's what I purchased there. And it would probably be a good place to go shop. Um, like I had mentioned before, if you've got children who, especially, well, I'll say especially girls, they got stuff for guys too, but. If you got kids that want to give their friends Christmas gifts and you don't want to spend a lot of money, that would probably be a good place to go as well, aside from the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm going to do the Dollar Tree haul. This Dollar Tree I went to yesterday was actually a Dollar Tree I very rarely go to because it is just so far away from where I live. Um, but I decided since I had the day to go shopping, I didn't mind driving the extra little distance. It's a bigger store. I'm not going to really say they have... Um, a whole lot more than what I've seen in my other stores, but it does seem like they have a, a different variety of things. I don't know how to explain that or if that even made sense at all, but I was able to find a few items that I have been looking for. Sorry, I gotta have me some coffee before it gets cold. All right, so I'll start off with this. I got some Christmas straws. We like to use these, um, you know, in our drinks or whatever. We can do without straws, but if you got them and they're festive, why not use them? I had another, um, put them in a different bag, sorry. So these are the little, um, this red, white, and green striped Christmas straws. And then I got the blue ones with the little snowflakes on them so that I figured we could use those in January and February. They're paper straws. I got a couple more bags. Um, found some bows. The bags that I got here, I actually needed this size. This is a little bit, it's not the smallest, but it's not the biggest size. You get two in a pack for a dollar. So I got the little penguin. 
And there's, this is just flat. There's no shimmer or anything to that. That's the sides. Inside's just green. And then I've got the little um, reindeer. Now he has some shimmer. I don't know why that other one don't. The little snarks, stars <laughs> and snowflakes are shimmery. The inside of this one. Like his little scarf. I thought this was cute. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a little purse type thing. I don't know. This is shimmery. And that's the only thing on it that is. It's just a gift tag. But it's a little Santa Claus. It's just a little whimsical type um, bag. The sides have got little snowflakes on them. Inside. It's hard to tell when these things are tied together, but it says Merry Christmas with some gifts. This one, same type style. It doesn't have anything glittery on it. And the sides, it's just green stripe. Now the bows that I found, which they got kind of bent in my bag. I guess I should have took those out. But anyway, I just think these are really pretty bows. They're just kind of flat, um, but I mean, they would look so pretty on a gift. You get three for a dollar. I got the red. I got silver. And then I got gold. They had a uh, blue. I didn't get it because the color of blue that it was was an odd blue, and I knew I didn't have any wrapping paper to match it. Um, it might be pretty for, you know, birthday gifts or something like that, but I figure I got nine bows. That's enough. Next thing I got is this little um, thin flashlight. I have been seeing, or I saw somebody haul this, and you just push this little button. can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. And it's supposed to be like razor thin. You could put it in your pocket. This would be a good men's gift. I did get one of these for my husband to put in his stocking. They, the colors that I saw were red and black. I got him the black one. And then if I got the red one in here. I may have already took that out. I think I did. No. Here's the red one. I got a red one for me and then a red one for my sister. Um, this would be good to put in your pocket, but you're sitting in the dark, you need a flashlight, there you go. And you can put it in your zipper, inside zipper pocket, and I always have it, so. Um, and it's magnetic, too. Which I thought was pretty neat. You can stick it on your refrigerator, your toolbox, or whatever. And I realized they were magnetic in the store because they kept sticking to each other. Another thing that I purchased, which I, I got this before, and then I didn't see them anymore. This I was originally going to get as part of the men's gift this year because I I seen these on TV before they ever put these in the Dollar Tree and thought they would be pretty cool to have, but I didn't want to spend the money. Um, but then I didn't see them, so I decided to go with the cabin socks and cookies, and then of course I see them. So I said, well, I'm not gonna, even though it wasn't but a dollar, I was like, uh, if I just keep spending dollars is just going to all add up and then before you know it they're going to end up with $20 gifts and I'm supposed to be only spending 10 on these people. So um, I did get one and for my sister because I think she's really crafty and I just think this might be something that she might find useful. Hopefully she hasn't already got one. She does shop at the Dollar Tree a little bit but she's very hard to shop for. So I found a few things there that I thought that she could use and I hope she likes it. I've got one for me so this one's going to go in her gift. Now, one thing I did find that I have been looking for um, are these do-it-yourself snow globes. I've seen, we've got, at my Dollar Tree, we have the big Christmas balls that you hang on the tree and you can decorate, but I haven't actually seen one with this for the globe that has these screw top bottoms, or screw bottoms, however you say that. Um, so at first I got a bunch of them, but then I thought, no, nice. so I started putting some of them back. I ended up only getting two because I had already purchased two other types of um, snow globe type. Um, but these are, the other ones that I got look like little 
upside down mason jars and they um, are supposed to be an ornament for a tree but the bottom of them unscrew so that you can use them, uh, fill them up with different little characters or whatever it is you want to put in them. I had already bought some bags of snow from the Dollar Tree to put in these. I'm not going to do water. Um, I just think it gets messy. I'm not even sure if you can. Well, it says on here water, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to use the Dollar Tree snow. Only thing is they sell these and they don't sell anything to put in them. You would think if they were going to sell do-it-yourself water globes, they would have sold like little miniature sized characters or something that you could choose to put in them. I did find some tiny Christmas trees, uh, bottle brush Christmas trees at Target and had picked them up a while back, but I think I'm going to have to end up going to Hobby Lobby if I want to find any miniature reindeer or anything else that we want to put in these. So I have a total of four. I've got two like this and two like the other. I'm going to make one. I'm going to let my kids make one. Um, let them pick which one it is they want to make and I'm probably going to give one of these to my mother um, and one to my sister Depending on you know how things go And another thing I picked up which I put a picture in um, Yesterday's video of some things that I took pictures of I did not purchase But thought other people might be interested in them. I hadn't seen them before and this was in one of them and I did decide afterwards to get this just because for some reason this is another one of those little items in my house that tends to get missing along with flashlights, markers, scissors, tape, and glue. So I thought I'll just get another one and stick it in my toolbox. I'll never have a tape measure when I want one. Haven't had that yet. Love those things. Um, I bought this snowflake. I thought it was really pretty. I'm not going to hang it up right now. After Christmas, I usually leave out like my snowmen and things like that and have some winter scenery up. I don't do as much as I do for Christmas, of course, but um, I do have a small box that I decorate for winter and I leave that up through the end of February. And around Valentine's Day, I'll add a few little Valentine's things. So I just thought this would be really pretty hanging on my mirror with a suction cup um, at my buffet. And if you see these and do decide to get them, check them very carefully because this was the only one out of about eight that did not have one of the points broken off of them. So if you're not careful and you don't pay attention, you may end up picking up one that's got one of the little pieces broke off of it and it's just not as pretty. So I got that. Um, got another bag here. I got me another one of these containers for me because I got to thinking about it. We like these little candy canes. They're not as hard. They're a little bit softer than the standard candy cane. And so I got a couple bags of these and I'm, I'm going to put those in these once I wash it. And just, you know, set it on an end table or something so when people come over, or, you know, we're just sitting around, we want a candy cane, we can have one. And you could also, that would be a cute gift to give somebody. Put a couple bags of these inside of one of these. I did see another design and I didn't take a picture of it. I think it had candy canes on it. I did not get it. Um, I just think this one was cuter. So, but yeah, the candy canes are a different design and they did have those at that Dollar Tree. I found one of these. I have been looking for these everywhere and cannot find them. The stores that I have found them at, apparently once they got them, they just completely sold out of them because this was the only one I found at this one. And it was stuck on a shelf that it didn't belong. <laughs> and I looked all over the store and couldn't find another one. I really wanted the mermaid one and I think there was a unicorn one to give my girls. And I still, I just have had no luck finding these things. I'm gonna continue to look until Christmas, maybe at some point, the Dollar Tree that I usually go to will eventually get them. I don't know. I know they haven't had them up until now. I bought me a lanyard. I'm not big on these, but I'm getting ready to have some surgery. And I'm going to do a video tomorrow talking about my surgery because I've mentioned it several times. And you're probably wondering what kind of surgery it is that I'm going to have. And I'll go over that. But I am going to need this to aid me in showering and other things. And I'll explain that later. Um, let's see what else. This is something else I got for after surgery. My family's going to love this. 
they have um, several different bells. This one says ring for a kiss. There's other ones that have different sayings. I can't remember what they are. They did have one that just said ring for service, but it had a different, but this one's like on a little spring. And the other one had a different bell inside and I just like this bell better. I like the way it sounded. So I ended up getting this one. And so whenever I need something while I'm laid up, my family's gonna be rung. I'm gonna ring for them for service. I picked up one of these um, Christmas trees. It's got little frosted tips. Um, I got actually two of them. I don't really want to pull the tag out of this one. I'll do this one here that I set up last night. The only bad thing about this one, and I don't know if this is gonna be the same way, but it changes colors. I don't know if you can tell. That's green. It was red a minute ago. It's going to let's see blue, purple. I mean, they're really pretty. And you could use them, you know, as in a little Christmas scenes or whatever. But when I went to cut it off last night to conserve the battery, it wouldn't cut off. <laughs> so, and it may not do it now. See, when you when I flip it to the off position, it stays on. So I kind of had to keep going back and forth to try and, and get it to um, cut off. I'm probably going to have to take, there's a little screw in the bottom of it and I'm probably just going to take that screw out and then on this particular one, whenever I want to cut it off, I'll just take the battery out because I can't leave it on the whole time. Cut off. Um, set it down, cut back on. Okay, whatever. I'll get the battery out of that later. The last thing, not the last thing, I got some more things over here, but I have been searching for these everywhere, everywhere. I seen these haul like a month ago and I have not been able to find them. But it's these little glass bead bracelets and they are so shimmery and just, they do not look like a dollar at all. And I wish that I had found these a month ago because I could have put them in with the girls uh, blanket scarves that I got them and the EOS. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. The Let's see how many I got. I'm gonna go ahead and just line them up here. There was four different designs that I was able to find. This one kind of looks like a uh, amber color. Of course, this is black. And then the last one is um, got like a um, what's that? It's black. I don't know really what kind of bead that is, but it's just they they are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I bought. Um, four, one of each kind for me, that I bought, um, my one little girl will wear them, one won't, so I bought Madeline one, and then I bought an extra one like this one, probably going to give that one to my sister, and then a, another one, I don't know, I bought several, no, I left a few, not many, okay, um, my sister that I've been purchasing, uh, that I purchased the flashlight for and a couple other things. I'm just, you know, was trying to pick up little things here and there. You know, my goal was to spend $10 on each person aside from, you know, my girls and my husband and, and everything. And the children, of course, are separate. But um, for the adults, I was just going to spend $10. So I just went around the store and kind of collected things I thought she might like. She loves crafts. She makes cards. Does all kinds of beautiful things. And... The items that I got, I hadn't seen at the other stores that we normally shop at, so I'm hoping that she don't already have them. But I got her some stickers. And I found these hanging on a little strip next to the checkout. And they actually have like, almost like a metal look, but they're they're not. They're plastic. You know, I mean, they're pretty tough, you know, as far as like, they're not very bendy. But um, I just thought they were really pretty. I didn't even buy myself any, and that's rare that, you know, usually if I get something for somebody and I like them, I'm going to have some for myself. But I figure she could use these on her cards or just any other kind of crafts that she makes. These are little owls. They have actually got some different colors in them. They had some butterflies. Um, I didn't get those. And then they had um, some crowns. Um, I think maybe an Eiffel Tower on there or something. I didn't care for those. I didn't get those. I also got her these um, leaves. There's not a back side to this. This was a wall decal. You can't, I don't know if you can tell that. Actually, it's like a rose gold and it does shimmer. It's really, really pretty, but 
I'm not sure. She probably won't use these on her wall, but I figure she could use them for something. I mean, they're so pretty. And I did buy me one of these a while back that, to use for scrapbooking. I also bought me one of these. And I don't know what she's going to do with it, but I'm sure she'll find something. Because it is adorable. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. I am into this little woodland creatures theme for some reason. I gave Caitlin a birthday party with woodland creatures and it turned out so cute. And, you know, of course, her little wrapping paper also is kind of themed around that. But I just thought that was just super cute. So I got her that. I think I have to get her a few more things. But that's everything that I got. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't have a bag sitting around here that I forgot about. But anyway, that's all my um, Dollar Tree and five below purchases from yesterday that I can show you. And like I said, I'm going to put um, the pictures that I took at Five Below um, yesterday at the end of this video so that you can see all the items and stuff they have in the store. If you don't have one in your area, I wouldn't drive a great distance to get there. But, you know, if you happen to be out and about, it's worth a walk through. You might find something that you like. But as far as um, what you get for the money, uh, like I said, I just stick with a Dollar Tree. So this is going to be it for today. I hope you have a good day. And I will get back with you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is the day before my surgery. So I will go over that. And um, not sure what's going to be recording after that. I may let my daughters do the recording, you know, the one or two days that I'm in the hospital. I'll be in the hospital for a few days. But for the first two days, I'm probably not going to doing any filming so they'll probably have my camera and be who knows what they'll put out there but anyway i get to edit it so i will see you later bye